Yo. Yeah. Um, there was that dude that was upstairs. I'd like to get that boss man up there. He's hiding. That's cool. We're good. There we go. Oh, so close. Dude, he's walking away. Nice. Damn. Out of concentration, dude's lucky day. Bruh. Okay. This we thinned out this herd pretty good. But you know, if I can thin them all out, why not? Well that dude is seriously roving. Goes there. Mark. Mark. Damn. He's down. Yeah, if I can get some elevation here. That dude's on the outside. Let's go ahead and creep up here. Got another data point. Where's your buddies at, man? Where is your buddies? Here we go. Dark AF, though. I can't see... You know what? Shiza. Try to push that one. Sneaky buggers, dude. Critical shot. Dang it. This is crazy, dude. Quietly. True, true. Come on, man. Get out from behind there, bro. love to actually be able to you know strike from above because i have that and so yep get to moving bro that's the last of them alone once more and what that... should have been a cave of wonders okay silas do you say so that was pretty awesome just clean those brocephuses out Dr. Sobek, please archive this testimonial in Apollo. Cross-reference to all mentions of my name and Operation Enduring Victory. My name is General Aaron Harris. From 2060 to 2066, I served as the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the highest-ranked officer of the United States Armed Forces. The tenure of my command included strategic planning and oversight of Operation Enduring Victory. A falsehood perpetrated on the civilian populations of the United States and other nations during the last 14 months of life on this planet. Before the Pharaoh Plague, I did my job and did it well. I was bold and decisive, crafty in political maneuvers. It wasn't an accident that I rose to my position and became the commander of the largest mechanized force ever assembled. But to what end? My only lasting achievement 
was the extinction of life on Earth. And my one redeeming act, if any, was to delay that extinction by days or weeks, by throwing more death at it. It is my hope that there will be no need for men like me in the world to come. If you are one of the people of that future world listening to this message, please note that I am sorry and that I wish you well. Sincerely, Aaron Harris. Aaron. Uh, that's interesting too, because obviously we have a relationship with an Aaron. I wonder if he is a descendant, you know? Welcome oh. to Hades. Once again, Zero Dawn's extinction failsafe protocol. The ultimate killer app. Now, I know what you're thinking. The purpose of Gaia is to resurrect life. So why give her a subordinate function, only purpose of which is to wipe out life all over again? I mean, hey. what the? What? Just plumb crazy, ain't it? Well, no, it isn't. Reconstituting a biosphere? That's a tall order. Tech smart as Gaia may be, odds are she won't get it right the first time. I mean, imagine you're Gaia 200 years from now and this new biosphere growing, it's all gone wrong. Alkalines are skyrocketing, coniferous forests eroding under the lash of superstorms that would have drowned Noah. It's chaos, a spinning top that won't stop wobbling. Now what are you gonna do? Release phase one organisms into that hot mess? Hope their CO2 and methane can balance out what you got started? Hell no. What you're gonna do, Gaia, is step aside while Hades takes over and does what you're just too darn nurturing and life-loving to do. Which is burn that misbegotten mess of a biosphere to the ground so Gaia can start over. Okay, not burn, more like reverse terraforming operations and suffocate it. But you get the idea. Hades takes the biosphere back to zero. Square one, blank plate. And then, only then, does it hand the steering wheel back to Gaia and say, Try again, old girl. And better this time, or we'll have to do this again. That's Hades. It's pretty badass when you think about it. Extinction on demand. Death on speed dial. All for the greater good, of course, but still, kind of metal. <laughs> so welcome to Hades. Welcome to the void. Okay, so... If that's the original purpose of Hades, why does it want me extinct? We need more data. And how does it end up in the wreckage of a pharaoh titan, getting worshipped by the Eclipse like some kind of god? I'm learning as you are, Aloy. Keep searching. Oh, absolutely crazy, dude. Well, let's see. Uh, Travis Tate, Elizabeth so Sobeck, Noise Complaints, Color Me Confounded, Lizzie, Bashcore. Anyone who says the old TT codes to Bashcore is straight up lying. And you know it. Old Trav don't have no truck with commercialized Razdaz. Mm mm. Heck, I'd rather guzzle a liter of Citrum, run off the, than listen to Grace Warm for 30 seconds. And to God, and swear on my mama's grave. And she was religious, just so you know. Uh, nah, that ain't that Bashkor blasting the Hades lab, shaking the walls, rattling folks' teeth. It's death metal, girl. Classical music, 80s, 90s mostly. Got me some of that Dutch death court, some Japanese gore grind, some Swedish cannibal theme stuff, too. Stop by if you want to listen. Okay. And something about loud music. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. We're good. Uh, text data point quest. Tate here. Just popped the three blues, but I earned it. Finally figured out Gold Deluxe solution. Gold Deluxe solution to Gaia's rather extreme executive authority. If that ain't worth 10 to 12 hours of dream time, what is? Before this, every usurpation protocol I designed failed in simulation because it was either too hard, too soft. Too hard, and it degraded the Gaia core. 
too soft and Gaia only pretends to relinquish control in the simulation after simulation. Hayes would take command of the terraform system and reverse operations, only to have Gaia lurk in the background, quietly reversing the process and falsifying telemetry to hide its interference. Sneaky. I swear ain't nothing Gaia would do to keep life going, even when it's just simulated plant life. Turns out the just right solution is isolating guys in a protective code shell, preserving its integrity. Yeah, those blues are plenty strong. Guess it's time to sleep in bed. I'll be back tomorrow, alligators. I guess that's supposed to be like, see you later, alligator? Okay. So interesting, Gaia was already trying to um, manu re-manufacture Earth while Hades kept destroying it. The two were kind of like fighting with one another. Okay, me. Let's go. Uh, Samina. That's the lady upstairs. Mr. Tate. This mail concerns Apollo archive submission. Yada yada. Your 666E submission is just five days. And oh, what a doozy. Despite earlier warnings and appropriate materials, you choose to submit 265 holographic remasters of acknowledged classics of extreme exploitation cinema. Allow me, then, to thank you on two accounts. One, for giving me the pleasure of rejecting your submission. Two, for clarifying concepts that has so long been ambiguous and ethically fraught with archivists such as myself. Accordingly, I have directed Apollo staff to summarily reject all your future submissions. Hilarious, dude. Uh, perhaps you might invest the time you would have spent preparing further submissions on, oh, I don't know, your assigned work. We have a world to save after all, or the rest of us do anyway. Peace out. All right. This guy's like submitting porn for her to archive in Apollo. No bueno. No bueno at all. Looks like the only way onwards. True. True. And I think we've collected all the data points, at least... Each one is full right now. I don't know. And it's not telling me up there on the top of the HUD. These boxes, what these boxes are all about. My crate. Um, I possibly could use that supply. Welcome pack. to Eleuthia, the crown and king of Gaia's subordinate functions. For it is by Eleuthia that the human race will continue to exist. I am Patrick Brochard Klein, the Alpha in charge of this program. Now let one thing be perfectly clear from the outset. Eleuthia is not a genetic engineering project. Our goal is to preserve the human genome, not alter it. A snapshot of human genetic diversity, literally frozen in time. Unmodified. Under my watch, our activities and initiatives will comply with the 2034 clone provisions and the 2048 rally accords. Now that may seem a quaint, even trivial concern to you in light of present circumstances. But as one of the authors of the accords, it is far from <laughs> trivial to me. The Pretty practical yeah. challenges before us are staggering in scope and complexity, but not insurmountable. No. no. Global collation and provisional storage of zygotes, perfection of exogenic technologies, design and perfection of servitors to provide nurture and inculcation during early child development. All of these program components must and will proceed in tandem. To say nothing of the breakneck construction of cradle facilities at sites around the world. Hmm. Interesting. So, Let us begin. Si vous êtes prêt? Let us begin. Hmm. Oh, got another data point. Uh, FC chambers. Okay. Uh, Patrick Brochard Klein, Elizabeth Sobeck, FC Chambers. The ectogenic chambers arrived two days ago. I've spent 
the last 36 hours examining them and poring over technical documents. The revelation is astonishing. I don't know what you had to give Far Zenith and trade to get these chambers, but it was worth it in a single leap. Their embryologists have vaulted past 50 years of technological shortcomings. The risk of ECMO resolved. Nutrition delivery resolved. Hormonal stability, yep, resolved. 12 other risk areas also resolved. Um, before I examine these chambers, I consider the Odyssey to be a fool's errand. But if the rest of FC's technology is at a level, well, human colony around Cyrus doesn't seem so impossible after all. Mass fabrication of the chambers will present a number of challenges, but I'm confident that they can be resolved. I'm going to rest for a few hours, then get back to it. Expect fabrication plants within 48 hours. Peanut butter and jelly with cram. Okay. Yoink. Um, yeah, so crazy. That's, I wonder, and I'm thinking, actually, this is where Aloy came from. It was right here. And somehow she popped up on Mother's footsteps. Crazy. Dun, 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 dun. Um, Patrick Marshall Klein, Elizabeth. Development artificial persona for cradle servitors, nurturers, disciplinarians, healer. Continue at a good pace. We are targeting Turing point four for these constructs. This should allow low grade empathy and limited improvisation improvisation without undermining adherence to codified behavior sense. The stimulus driven switch in persona, however, is proven to be a greater software challenge than anticipated. Especially concerning our entrenched feedback loops. Between the disciplinary and healer persona. Hmm. This sounds like uh, peeps at all mothers. Um, yeah, the sacred whatever. I have attached a comprehensive plan for correcting these interactive protocol shortcomings and just data corrupted. Bugger all. Uh, let's see here. We got a junk box. Let's go ahead and check this out. Hmm. No wires, man. Forget about traveling light. True, true. Need the wires though, bro. Okay. Oh, filled in the gap too. Uh, Patrick blah, 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 blah. Eleuthia 01 was successfully sealed before the swarm advancing across Zhejiang province could detect it. Uh, pingback from crucial system is good. For our maiden voyage, a success regarding my disputes with the betas over a zygote selection. Of course, I understand we have limited overhead to run simulations of gene flow in our future humans, but we can all agree there is a margin for refinement in future cradle population. Donk. In addition to personal over overseeing completion of the Eleuthia O2 site inside Mount Namali, I will formulate a purpose and modify zygote selection plan within the week. Peanut butter and crayon. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, so I wonder if there's like frozen people inside there. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean, Vern? Cradle facilities. Elizabeth said a, a new generation of humans would be spawned inside such places. She did. All Mother Mountain. It was one of them? There's only one way to be sure. The hatch wouldn't open. Something, something about a corrupted alpha registry. I need to search Elizabeth's office. True. True. Looks like it used to hold something. Us would benefit from antelope and morphologies. Though capric forms show superior load-bearing capability. You're a quick study, Gaia. Dr. Sobek, as I have conducted this comparative analysis of mammalian morphologies, I've gathered extensive data on the Quaternary Extinction event. Oh? And your assessment? Gaia? 
Logically speaking, the extinction was a natural consequence. And yet... And yet... I find the loss of megafaunal species... unaccountably sad. That they passed forever into oblivion... causes me to experience... a grief. Oh. That is difficult to describe. Am I malfunctioning? <sighs> no, no, Gaia, you're not. This is good. It's very good. She's experiencing compassion. Crazy, bro. You will undergo a brief period of unconsciousness during relocation to Prime and final statement. Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? When you're back up and running at the new site, we'll bring the subordinate functions online and see where we stand. Elizabeth, I detect distress. Are you all right? I'm fine. I realize that circumstances compel us to launch earlier than we hoped, but all subsystems are operational. The odds stand in our favor. But what if... Gaia, there's nothing left out there. You can't even survive unless you're wearing an environmental suit. Wow, there are wow, billions wow, wow. dead. Wow. In fear and agony. What if... What if it was all for nothing? Elizabeth, extinction was inevitable. Thanks to you, life will have a future. You really believe that? I believe in you, Elizabeth. In you, all things. Wow, 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 that thing just cuts right out. Pure logic won't cut it, Ted. To pull this off, Gaia's going to need to have some skin in the game. It has to care. What if it runs amok? Have we learned nothing from our mistakes? Your mistakes, I think you mean? All I'm saying is give it a kill switch. She was just born, Ted. I'm not gonna put a gun to her head while she's still in the cradle. You talk like it's a child. What if it becomes a monster? Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? <sighs> of course, Gaia, go on. I'm sorry to contradict you, but Mr. Pharaoh's argument is sound. At this point, the development of my psyche is not entirely predictable. To ensure preservation of life, a hardwired override is, I believe, a necessary safeguard. There. Satisfied, Ted? Jeez, Liz, just do what it says. Wow, 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 the kill switch. Wow, man, you've got lots of things unfolding right now. This is a huge, huge, um, I can see why this, uh, quest is pretty long. Yeah, I think, well, this is part three. Just waiting for a booby trap or something like that. Enter Selbeck's office. Case. But boy, they are stingy with the wires, bro. Mm, Odyssey has failed. Uh, ba 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 ba. Elizabeth Odyssey has failed. Oh, some terrible news. I'm afraid. Far Zenith F FZ has informed me that the Odyssey mission has failed. Last night. Telemetry indicated a catastrophic antimatter containment failure as the drive spun up to depart our solar system. The ship, its crew, its cargo, the zegots and seeds, its alpha build of Apollo, all were lost. Zero Dawn is now the only hope for the continuation of the human species and earthly life. We must succeed. Elizabeth. Hmm. I give her any more, she's gonna blow. Um, we'll, we'll definitely grab whatever that is in a second. Let's get this data point. Artemis. Really? Uh, Charles Ronson, Elizabeth Robeck. Uh, it's coming along, Liz. I'm positive about it. Those words can still mean anything. Had my sleeves rolled up negotiating with frozen zoos for their samples. So many species trapped in a ghoulish hologram di dioramas suspended in what ifs. 
more than 14,000 that went extinct between 2000 and 2043. We've started mapping out primary successions, selecting pioneer organisms for a balanced and sustainable biosphere. Microorganisms, insects, rabbits, and hawks, and foxes, and wolves. Oh my, a thousand more that will have to wait their turn until our new generation can be entrusted with the duty of restoring them so they can return to a world that this time will understand the concept of conservation before it's too late hmm the green earth uh there's already been too many too lates we lost a whole collection team during the swarm breakthrough in Myanmar. uh the samples were lost well irreplaceable but thanks to you, Liz, the circle of life will bend, not break. The earth was a lifeless rock before, and someday we will be again. But not now. Not like this. Not on our watch. Senor Ronson. Captain. Optimist. Accessing. The Alpha Registry Master File. Intact? Yeah, no signs of corruption. Then what are you waiting for? Copy the file. With this, I can restore the registry at the hatch inside Allmother. Open it, go inside. And grasp the secrets within. Where I was born. Man, Silas, sus AF. Maybe who gave birth to me. Who? Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what, not a who. You bastard. Oh, no, I had a legitimate birth. It's you, Aloy, who are the creation of a machine. But what kind of machine and why? Mm. Why were you created? True. And you look exactly like Elizabeth Sobeck. Eclipse. You need to get out of there. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable. Hmm. Can we not fight these dudes? Oh, man. What do we got going on? Check this out. Look at this. What is this? <laughs> wow, 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 wow. She download the data? What? Still alive. Good. I have a more suitable death in mind for you, child. <laughs> oh. The dude that was at the proving and had a knife to her throat that Rost stopped him from dispatching. Aloy. My entire life, I've always known one thing with prophetic certainty. That I was destined for glory as a great champion of the sun. Mm. Even when Joran was murdered, even when Meridian fell, I never doubted my destiny. Until you came along. Oliver stuff. When I heard that you had survived, a doubt took root in my mind as sure as the sun rises and falls each day those I am bade to kill die and yet I failed how why with each dig site you attacked each loyal soldier you killed this pestering doubt grew it yeah grew this dude high priest Bahavas went missing and when the true Sun King Itamin was snatched away it not only grew, but multiplied. I kept thinking of the moment my knife pierced your throat. Mm. One twist, a simple tug of the blade, and you would have bled out. In slaughter, I am a practiced hand. So why hesitate? Why fail my destined purpose? He killed Ross, man. Ross was good people. See that scar on your cheek? You didn't get to finish. Yes, I remember. He fought well. For a savage. His name was Rost. 
and he was a better man than you could ever hope to be. True. The better man is the one who doesn't end up with his guts steaming on the ground. <laughs> no, it wasn't him. I could have finished you before he attacked, but I didn't. This failing troubled my thoughts, haunted every step. It was mm. only when I captured you down in that place that I finally glimpsed the sun's design etched at length across the course of events. You were meant to survive that day on the mountain, meant to interfere at dig sites and kill my men, meant to eliminate High Priest Bahavas, meant to snatch Itaman away. Conversely, I was meant to capture you here so that you might die as a sacrificial offering to the sun. Twist everything as it was meant to be. Predestined and preordained. Sick, a straight fool. You're an idiot. Yes. A dangerous idiot, but an idiot. All this talk of destiny and fate I'm sure Hades speaks the same language, doesn't he? Here being played for a fool. Hades is an ancient machine, not the buried shadow of Karja myth. It doesn't care about Meridian. It wants to kill everything and everyone. And you are its dutiful slave. I serve not the buried shadow, but the sun in shadow. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, dark to light. Do you really not hear how ridiculous that sounds? You've gone from serving an insane homicidal sun king to an insane homicidal machine. You're moving down in the world, not up. I'll remember those words as I watch your corpse burn. Whatever's left of it. You fail to grasp the point. As surely as you've been conquered, so has all doubt. And with certainty of belief comes unstoppable force. Then open his cage and put your faith to the test. See if things work out like you expect. True. The circle True. has closed. Get in here. Every element is in its proper place, exactly where it belongs. The errant beast, now caged, will serve her true purpose. A sacrificial animal. Oh, speaking of sacrifice, I forgot to tell you. After you crashed the Eclipse Network, I sent messengers into the East to rally the forces there and mount an invasion of the sacred land. I ordered every Nora killed. I was hoping to catch you there, but alas, it all seems to have been unnecessary. A needless Why thought. butcher dozens of innocents for no gain? It's a waste of effort. You're right. I won't even be there to enjoy it. In any case, I couldn't recall the order even if I wished to. Thanks to your destruction of the network, communication over distances is impossible. You not only doomed yourself, but an entire tribe. Do we not see the scorching judgment of the sun in these events? Your focus. Such a powerful device, isn't it? And yet, so fragile. <sighs> Creepy, dude. Oh. So you see, this time, I did not hesitate. The knife has already been twisted. Wow, 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 wow. Talk about a serious episode. I mean, no wonder this had to be a three-parter. Could even go in the four parts, man. Then they're on. Karja faithful, rejoice! 
Our years in shadow are over. A new dawn trembles on the horizon. A new day, soon to break. And when it does, the false Sun King will be dead. And Holy Meridian, ours once more. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, light to dark, night to day. Behold! Oh, there's that healer, dude. Hmm. Corruptors. Hold your seats! Can you not see the proof of the sun's blessing before your eyes? How else could shadows such as these prowl in broad light of day? Were they not approved by the sun and joined to our cause? Many years ago, oh, well, to well. consecrate this great ring, the Radiant Juran ordered many faithless crushed beneath the hooves of the behemoth. Mighty is the behemoth in the eye of the sun, but it is mightier still, infused with the power of shadow. Let this one, who schemed and slithered, be the first to die. Let her be the first of thousands. What on earth, dude, are we supposed to be doing here? <laughs> She's got no focus. We don't have her spear. We just need a place to run. I'll never beat that thing without weapons. Oh, my weapons are up on the platform. There's no way out of this way. Maybe I could use the strength against it. That pillar's weak. Another hit, and that pillar will come down. True. I gotta get actually to this next pillar. We can get our stuff and just get on up out of here, but Wow 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 Tell me she's coming out with her armor. Oh yeah, do you got your spear? Behold Now you're just a big dumb target. Come and get it! Ooh, whoa, 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 chill, chill, chill. What is this all about, bro? Those components on the sides of his head, they've got something to do with his lift attacks. on its belly. Looks important. Out of breezes, dude, man.
Is this dude Dunzor? He's Dunzor. So now what? Now what? Silence! Shadows, kill her! here oh silence hell yeah brother get that mount silence see ya guys are already team so I don't think they can be corrupted oh wow wow dude holy crap man epic journey confirmed it was just a story so you're here really here you risked your life of course I did if you'd been killed, the Nora Sacred Mountain would never have given up its secrets. Too bad you wasted your time, then. Helis destroyed my focus. And the Alpha Registry with it. Not at all. The whole time I've been monitoring your focus, I've duplicated every data file you scanned. Installing that data to a new focus was trivially easy. Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. You're really good at making it impossible to like you, Silence. But I guess I need this. It's time to see where you were born. Maybe you'll even learn why. Yeah. Meet the machine that birthed me into this world. Isn't that how you put it? I'll be off. Last two. Last Wait. two. Test two. Yes. Helis recognized you. That's a legit question. Helis recognized you back in the Sun Ring. You told me that you'd assisted the Eclipse. Not that you knew the man who killed my... Who almost killed Father. me. Father. So now you know. Rost. The man is a serious threat. So let's do all we can to make sure that he and Hades don't succeed. True. Right. How'd you find How me? did you track my location when I wasn't wearing a focus? Really, Aloy? It doesn't take a genius to surmise that Helis would throw you into the sun wing at high noon. True, true. I wore out two striders getting here in time, but I did. Now be on your way. You can override machines? Maybe you're going to let me ask all these since questions. Since when can you override machines? True. Ever True. since you discovered the technique. I had to destroy a corrupter to obtain the necessary parts, of course. But your example showed me how to do that as well. Yet another benefit of monitoring your activities through your focus. Interesting. Truth be told, the underlying logic of the technique isn't so different from rites practiced by Banuk shamans. Though, of course, far more advanced. Great. You're welcome, I guess. Mm. I'll be on my way. <sighs> to make matters worse, Helis ordered an Eclipse detachment to attack the Nora Sacred Land. The tribe's already weak. They won't stand a chance. You should come with me. Well, absolutely not. I have preparations to make elsewhere. What kind of... <sighs> Why do I bother asking? You're not going to tell me. When the time is right, I'll be in touch. I'll contact you later. In the meantime, should you need to return to Shadow Karja territory, I brought armor to conceal your identity. You think of everything, don't you? I like this dude as a voice actor. This guy's a good voice actor. Aloy, when you were recovering the Alpha Registry down in the Zero Dawn bunker, I was needlessly cruel. 
for your sake? I hope there is someone waiting there for you inside the mountain. Not a what, but a who. Yeah! Nice. Yeah, Bosh. Uh, Chief, something rather. I forget his name, but he plays the Chief in Bosh. Okay. Well, interesting. Terror of the Sun. Obtain the Shadow Star worth armor. Um, awesome. Because that armor is a wee bit better than the current Nora armor that we got. Our shadow armor. But anyway, y'all, we are going to take a pause for the cause so I can get this thing wrapped up, sent out, and we can finally finish off the secrets of the Earth questicles. Until then, my friends, I will and shall catch you guys on the other side. Peace.